What's cooking money and let's move bed. JJ Ramos here. <clears throat> welcome back to YouTube and welcome again to Advocacy Friday. So we're gonna talk about uh, of course the usual blog blog post first, then after the break, the objection day. Okay. So I've <clears throat> I went through my uh, I went through the blog archives, alright, so to speak. And um, I encountered this particular post entitled opportunity not always so to keep you up to speed what we're going to, to what we're going to talk about link in the description below right click on that link right now so that you'll be up to speed seriously okay so this was during the time i uh i was tending to my father all right who was uh uh, who's been con who was been who's been confined to the hospital for I think two weeks in, right? Two weeks in, and my upline at the time uh, called a meeting, so for my own convenience, he adjusted it, and <clears throat> the venue was just uh, probably a few steps away from the hospital. Yeah. So for my convenience, he scheduled uh, the meeting there and in the early evening, so that I can uh, so that I can wait for my mother and sister's turn to uh, to tend to my dad at that time, so para makalabas na ako, so I can uh, quickly check into the meeting, and I did, right? And I did. So we talked about. Um, the goals of the group and of course uh, what steps to take and uh, sharing of experiences okay, the usual the usual uh, never marketing group meeting all right so that was uh, that uh, that instance inspired me to write that blog post okay so why is it called opportunity knocks always not uh, the usual opportunity knocks only once. Well, for me, opportunity does not always, right? People who say <clears throat> opportunity knocks only once, it's not thinking hard enough. Okay? Hindi sila nag-iisip ng maigi, right? You got a billion brain cells in that skull of yours. You, you might as well use it all, right? See? See the model here, right? Think big, all right, think big. That's why I'm highlighting it right now, okay? So, back to, back to the conversation. <clears throat> For me, opportunity knocks always, all right? You, there's only one thing to do para mangyari yon. There's only one thing to do. Open your mind. Open your mind. Kahit mag, kahit gano, katindi yung problem mo, problema mo, kahit ano pang sitwasyon na tumating sa'yo, you should always keep this open. Right? Always keep this open. And of course, your heart. Right? That's the only way opportunities will not very often. Okay. So I'm safely assuming right now that you're now on the blog post, you're reading it, and I've given you uh, a uh, somewhat four years later update on it right now <laughs> because I wrote that blog post exactly four years, I uh, know, more than four years ago, right? My dad was still alive at the time. That's our blog post feature for this episode it's time it's time for the objection of the week but first a word from our sponsors so guys i'm here to um i'm here to promote a a long-standing uh home-based business of mine it's called load extreme 
And well, sila na naman ang pioneers ng universal prepaid loading eh, sa buong mundo. Okay? They've been around since 2000s. I became a member. <clears throat> I signed up for the technology in 2008 because I was so I was so fucking tired of um, running out of running out of load at the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm sure you relate that. I'm sure you relate to that. Where uh, you lose uh, you lose a lot of data in just one sitting. Then it's the middle of it's the middle of the night and you just can't go out right now to look for a store to to sell you some load or to sell you prepaid load out of the question okay so i signed up in 2008 then they rebranded somewhere sometime in the mid to uh oh, mid 2010s the early 2010s to v mobile then in 2015 uh, i became a dealer because i was so satisfied with their service then a year later, they went back to Load Extreme. Now, this, what you see here, okay, is the V Mobile Stock uh, user card. Okay, I usually offer this for 300 pesos. This one alone, okay, wala pang load to, wala pang load to, okay, kayo maglo load nito. This is a 300 peso value, but, okay, but if you can refer me a potential dealer, mm -hmm. see this, see that, see that, yeah, okay. see that card, yeah, I will give one of these to you for free, okay, for every successful dealer sign up, okay, I'm going to give this to you for free. Now, it's considered a uh, rarity these days, the V-Mobile stock. Kasi nag-revert nag -revert back to Load Extreme kasi ang, ang company. So, they rebranded themselves back to Load Extreme, leaving this as, well, all this. You can say it's a uh, price collection if you're, if you're a collector of prepaid cards. Now, let me let me be clear on this. This is not a telco. Okay? This is just a service provider for universal prepaid loading. Okay? Let me show you that. Yeah. Okay? So nakakaintindihan na tayo. Now, you have to all this. You have to DM me through Instagram or or my Facebook page. Okay? Use the code JG Ramos. Okay? It's in the subtitles already. Use the code JG Ramos so you can avail of this. You can avail of this for free. Okay? Once you refer a potential dealer and he or she signs up. Okay? Pag naging dealer yon. I mean, yung nagbayad siya na nagbayad siya na initial investment, and of course, uh, na meet ko na, na part of my team. This one is for free. Sayo na to, All right? You just use the code J G Ramos para ma identify ko that you're a feeling of this. You're a feeling of this very special promo. Now let me repeat. This card normally sells for 300 pesos. But if you refer a dealer to me, pag nag-sign up siya, sa'yo na to. Nagkakaintindihan pa tayo? Okay? So, good luck guys. Happy hunting! Hmm. Gusto pala. My sponsors are so fast in promoting their products and services. No? <laughs> now, objection of the week. Okay. So, what's our objection of the week? Let me take. Let me consult my notes first. Okay. Okay. See. Yeah. One of the most common of all time. 
I'll talk to my spouse. Okay. <clears throat> I've encountered this objection <laughs> an infinite number of times during uh, probably the first seven years of my selling career. <laughs> Up to the time na nasa Gold's Gym ako. Okay. Especially the time na nasa Gold's Gym ako. I encountered this objection so many times. I lost count. All right, so many times I lost count. Now, <clears throat> back then I would, uh, I would ask them, "Bakit mo sir, ma'am? Bakit? Why would you talk to your spouse about it? Pwede naman nating, pwede naman kayo magdesign yun. Ganon ako diretso. Ganon ako diretso nun. And it would easily turn off the prospect. It would easily turn them off. I lost a lot of sales, okay, that way. Okay? I lost a lot of sales because of that objection. <clears throat> because basically I had, well, I wasn't armed with an answer for it. All right, bottom line. I wasn't armed with an answer for it. And then, well, if I would encounter that objection again, right now, I would do it like this. <clears throat> Mayari, lalaki ang prospect. Sir, before you, before, well, if, sir, before we actually uh, end this meeting and you go talk to your spouse about it, can I ask, what would she say? Okay. Sa tingin niyo po, ano po ang sasabihin niya sa inyo pag dinisclose niyo ang pinag-usapan natin dito? I will let the prospect answer. I will let that prospect answer. Or, you can, uh, I can dig deeper and, well, be, uh, be a little, be a little direct with him. I'll be blunt with you. I'll, I'll do it this, I'll do it this way. I'll be blunt with you, sir. It's not about talking to your spouse, isn't it? Was there something? Uh, was there something wrong that I said? Was there something um, that that made you want to say that? May nasabi, may nasabi po ba ako na that would uh, put your decision off for a while? See. You, I was direct, but subtle. Okay. It's their right, because, well, married individuals normally would object that way. Okay. But 90% of the time, they would use it as an excuse not to decide right there and then. Okay. That's, that's how I would do it. There are two, that's the only, I, that's probably the only two ways that I would do it. If I were to encounter that objection now, hmm? see, think big, right? Do not, as a salesperson, do not limit yourself to what your um, what your supervisors or what your trainers tell you to do. Always open this, okay? You got a billion cells inside that head of yours you might as well use them all you might get it your way more of half the time you would get it your way if you do that if you do this okay well as always let's do the drill Hit that logo to subscribe, hit the bell, and comment with done. Now, if you have other comments, uh, if you have other comments in mind, oh yeah, lay them down. Lay them down below, all right? I would love to, I would love to engage you in such a conversation, okay? <clears throat> so, well, thank you for watching up to this point. And I'll see you in the next episode.
Adjust money and life movement.